In today's backyard boomer take, it's really going to be a boomer take because you do have to be of a certain age to appreciate what I'm going to talk about today because I'm going to talk about the World Wide Web and how lifeless, soulless, how useless the web has become because in a lot of ways, the early web was the web. It, it, it was great. It was fantastic. It was a much smaller place. The communities around these websites were smaller, but every website, every community was its own unique place. It had its own flavor, its own charm, right? There wasn't all this cross-pollination of websites, if you will, you know, where everybody is linked to each other, connected to each other, and they're all playing by the same rules. It's almost like they're owned by the same company, which is kind of what the web is now. The web essentially is owned by about half a dozen companies now, right? Most of the web is in the hands of just a handful of companies, and it has really brought the web down because, again, there's just nothing special about it anymore. In the early days of the web, it was people like you and me building sites. And because monetization of the web wasn't the way it is now with ad networks and things like that, most people were actually posting stuff on the web to actually help people, educational stuff, or, you know, trying to just interact with a community, right? It was people were actually there because they wanted to be there not because they were trying to scam people out of money you know with these crypto scams and everything else you see on the web these days and it was just again it was just a much better place it was a friendlier place as the web has grown as we've gotten all these billions of websites on the web oddly enough the web seems much much smaller now and the reason is because there's no variety the early web had real variety between each and every website you found and that's what made it special you never knew what you were going to discover when you were searching the early web but now you know exactly what you're going to get every site is basically the same site they're all trying to run the same scams trying to use the same ad networks and they're all following the same formulas using the same content management systems and for the most part talking about the same topics all trying to chase that same dollar and I hate it I really hate the modern web and I don't understand with all these brilliant people we have out there all these brilliant programmers and developers and scientists why someone hasn't realized that the web has evolved into this monstrosity that really has devoured itself, it's killed itself. At some point, we have to blow the whole thing up and start afresh, and we need to focus on that early web model that made things really unique. One interesting study I recently came across was a study on Reddit and all of the links that are posted on Reddit. You know how when you post a thread on Reddit, most people are typically linking to some external source like a article or video or things like that and over the course of reddit's history more and more links point to the same 10 to 12 websites right we're to a point now where most of the links on reddit post to just a few websites think about how many links you follow on reddit typically where are they going to twitter posts YouTube videos, TikTok videos, Instagram, places like that, right? It's really, there's nothing unique. When I say as the web has gotten bigger and there's more pages, there's more people on it, there's more conversations, but it's all happening in just a few places. And there, again, it's no variety. And as these people all interact, essentially all on the same form, following the exact same rules and the same standards of, of how we interact with each other, it's... It's one large echo chamber, and it's just become a sad place. And I, I find myself every time I log in <laughs> on my computer and I actually have to surf the web, like if I go to Google and search for something, most of the websites for the topics I'm searching for are just pointless websites that have nothing but a bunch of banner ads and things like that on it and the articles or the blogs themselves are half-ass written you can tell that there was no effort in them or they were probably paid content as far as the person that created that site didn't even write the articles themselves they paid somebody to write an article for them just so they can throw it up on this blog so they can have banner ads you know get some adsense revenue and you know and i, I 
it's just painful. I, I know this is kind of a boomer take, and I know people are going to tell me oh, that you guys spend all day on the web, and the web is great. But trust me, if you were around, you know, like in the mid to late 1990s, the web radically different than what it is now. And I think that's why so many people like me now, uh, we come across as just old and grumpy, even though I'm not that old, right? But that is just some of my thoughts today. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Peace, guys.